Hello, everybody. So, I am heated. Because <laughs> there's been videos going around about this. And I want to put this out there as a PSA. Don't do this. You're going to hurt yourself. You could even probably die from it because of infection. I'm going to put that out there right now. Do not do this. Don't even think for one second this is going to be possible for you. You are setting a, you are going to play a very, into a very dangerous game that the authorities are going to look back at. They're going to watch you do this and they're going to laugh at you for doing it. But at the end of the day, you're going to end up paying the price for it. And it's going to be hefty. It's going to be your life. Are you willing to sacrifice yourself for this? Because this dude here, I don't have the video up. He was born as a dude anyway. Trans woman. They want to be the first to get pregnant. Now, I know <coughs> this was only tried on women, like, cis women. Um, but they're hoping to do it, do a transplant, uterus, plant, plantation? I don't know, it would definitely not be a transplant. Because they never had one to begin with. They were never born with it. <clears throat> They're hoping to try it in trans women within the next 10 to 20 years. Buddy, your body is going to reject it. You're not even going to be able to carry the pregnancy. Okay, assuming you could carry the baby full term or whatever. You're either going to get so sick, the body's just going to, like, reject the baby. Good luck having that go where it should go. Good luck having it going out the right place. But also, you could die from infection. You probably already had complications from your other surgeries, right? Am I wrong? If not, I'd be very surprised. <clears throat> You think you're going to succeed in having a uterus implanted in you? <laughs> well, why don't we try that with pigs? Take a female pig, okay? Take her uterus out and then put it... Take the balls out of a male pig. Let's try this with pigs, okay? Take the balls out of a male pig, turn the penis part into a small urethra, and then there's a vagina part. I don't know how they do that. But let's just, you know, let's make the, the, the male pig try to look a little more female by changing the parts there. Then let's put a uterus in. Let's put the uterus from that female pig into him. Trans pig. <laughs> okay? Would it fit? Maybe it could. But... Do not tell me that that male pig would not start rejecting the uterus. His body would go into overdrive. It would not. And look, <clears throat> it's more than just a uterus and a fertilized egg. There's hormones your body produces as well to make it grow properly, to support that baby. You need the uterine lining as well. Do you think you're going to grow that lining to protect the baby? That baby's going to probably tear right through the uterus. It, it, assuming it could grow at all. And then... <gasps> as a PMSing woman, this is really, like... I'm PMSing at the moment, so this is ridiculous. This is extra ridiculous to me today. Like, I mean, at the end of the day... 
I'm not telling you, like, I can't stop you, okay? What you do is ultimately your responsibility, but this is ridiculous. You will have horrible complications. You could even die from infection, from how hard your body is going to reject this. It's not going to end well. You're not going to be able to carry it full term. I highly, ca- I cannot see it. It is not going to work. It isn't. <laughs> I don't even know if I will be able to carry a baby because I'm that small. I don't know if my body will be able to support it. I think my hips probably are wide enough, but up top, I'm very, very narrow. I don't know if my baby will have much room. I feel like it would be really tight in there. The last thing I want, I want to have a natural pregnancy if I can. But I don't even know if I'd be able to carry a baby at my size. And you think you can? You need more than just estrogen pumped into you, buddy. And your AJ, because it's surgically made, you have to dilate it. Are you doing that? I'm sure you have to. You'd still have to dilate it. Otherwise, that baby is going to be trapped in there. It's going to be trapped. Yes, it is. And then if something tears, what is going to happen? Where is the where is it all going to go? You're going to start bleeding internally. This is not going to go well. There are so many steps you're leaving out of the equation. Your body is not fit for this. Definitely not. At least I could have a chance. I could have a chance. Doesn't mean I'll be, I'll be successful, but I could have a chance at it, right? You? Uh, what? <laughs> and with your kind being so anti-baby, anti-child, why do you even want to go through with this? Oh, you don't mind if trans people have babies. But you don't want the feminist women and the the actual like biologically born women, the the ones that are true women. You don't want them having baby. I see how I see now. Okay, I get it. I get. It. You don't want the women, the woman woman to have a baby. Okay. Okay, I get it. Great. Great. Awesome. You, it, the worst part is I'm straight, so that makes it even better, doesn't it? Yeah, so I shouldn't have it. I, I got it now. I got it. I, I got it. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep. Cool. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry at the same time. I'm probably going to get this, get nuked for this, but there will be people backing me up as well. So, um, this is worse. This is the worst idea you could ever friggin' consider doing. Because it's not like veganism where it takes years and years. Because you could go nine months and be perfectly fine on a vegan diet. You will not be able to go the full nine months, assuming your baby even lives at all. Assuming anything goes right at all. Nothing will work out the way you want because... You will, your body will reject it. It's not made, sorry, my computer's talking. Your body's not made for that. Your body isn't made for it. You're going to hurt yourself, and this is why I'm posting this. My goal of this channel is to prevent people from falling victim to cults and hurting themselves.
Do I want this person to die? No. But it's almost inevitable if this person goes through with this idea. I mean, if they, if they work quickly, they could probably save them in time. But I don't see this going well without infection setting in and him possibly in the ICU for a while at the, at the very middle end of the spectrum. But on the highest end of the spectrum, the, the, worst, the worst outcome is death. It's death. You really... I don't want that for them. Him, them, her, I don't know what... I, I, I guess her? I guess that's how this person identifies now. Is it not her? Um, I don't even know. I don't know anymore. <sighs> this is probably going to be the last video you ever see of me, you guys. <clears throat> but. I, okay. Like, do what you want, people. At the end of the day, I cannot stop you. If you want to potentially be a, be. A, at a more likelihood of death, go get the surgery. Do it. Do it. I cannot stop you. It's not my responsibility, but it's my goal to raise awareness because you could really hurt yourself. You could die from this because the way that your body would reject it, you'd never feel the end of it. It would just, it would just be too much. It'd be too much. Something could tear too. Do you realize that? Something could tear. It, like, something could tear and start bleeding. You, and like I said, you need the uterine lining to develop as well. That's not going to happen. The hormones help pr with producing the uterine lining to protect the baby, and your, your body has to grow accordingly. You're not, you're just asking to make yourself super duper sick and possibly die. You are forgetting so much. You don't have ovaries either. <clears throat> you need more than estrogen. Way more. Way more. Mm -hmm. Way more. Sorry, my Apple Watch. Way more. This is not going to work out for you. It's not. Not because I don't want it to. I'm not that kind of person. It's just, I, I'm usually pretty good at seeing the future. I'm usually pretty good at that. Like nine times out of 10, I end up right. So <laughs> I saw fake meat going up in my future. Guess what it did? I saw people uh, lying about being vegan. I was right about that too. All of this stuff is just a scam and you're all buying into it. It doesn't matter what the scams are. This is not going to go well for you. It's not. YouTube is going to mistake this for hate. I guarantee that. At best, they'll take this video down. But at worst, they're going to take this whole channel down. Uh, like this. This needs to be said. Guys. I'm hoping all of you and my, my uh, subscription list here are sane people. Okay. I'm hoping that all of you are sane here. <clears throat> if you are, thank you. If you really think that this guy's gonna be able to get pregnant, um, I don't know. I just, I don't see it happening. I can't. There is so 
much that you need in order to hold a baby and protect it. Your uterus is going to tear because it's going to have no lining. You need the lining to protect it. You need the body to grow right. It's, I just can't see this going well. I can't. I would love to be proven wrong, but I don't see how. I could be proven wrong here. It's, it's not going to go the way you want it to. It just, there's no way. Your body's going to reject it. You're going to get infections. You're going to, something's going to happen. This could kill you. Are you really willing to risk that? Are you really willing to risk that? Take that plunge and just blindly go along with this. This idea that you, originally born with testes, could get pregnant, get a uterus implant, and get pregnant? No. Get out of here. Seriously, you're... You're playing a very dangerous game with yourself. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. The, the, the sperm you're using might be yours, but that uterus is not. It's not meant for you. It is not meant for you. It isn't. It is not. Okay? It isn't. You're going to look back at that video in 10 years and be like, what the heck was I thinking? Posting that. I feel bad for you because you're only 18. I'll see if I can find the video and I'll link it in the description where I saw that that guy, um, the, uh, this is next level delusion. I, do they really think anything through? Do they think they could beat all the odds? Do they think, how come people think they're invincible? Why is it? And I don't even just mean with this. I mean with everything. They think they're just invincible, that they, they can defy all odds. Even despite everything, they can defy all odds and change our meaning of the world, our understanding of everything. Really? No. No. No one is invincible. No animal is, and no human is either. We are all one in the same. So, take that and either deal with it Or do with that what you will and whatever, I can't stop you. I'm not going to be the one here to... Don't come crying to me when you inevitably go through it and deal with what I told you you were going to deal with. I'm warning you, this is not safe. It isn't. Do you realize that the doctors are only in it for the money? They don't care about your health. They're going to they're going to want you as a long-term patient. There are some sick doctors out there. That girl from Florida I don't even know if I should name her. I think she was... I think she is in Florida now. I don't know. Um, but yeah. She would lie to her patients. She lied to them. And the patients had to suffer through infections. And surgeries that could have been easily prevented. But infections, there's going to be complications with any surgery anyways. But this one is a whole new level of crazy. Okay? 
This one is a whole new level of crazy. Don't say I didn't warn you. This is a very, very dangerous choice. You are playing with biology. <clears throat> it's not like making a worm go up and back down a pole again, like wiggling around and up and, you know, wiggling along a, you know, it's not trying to make, it's not like trying to make a worm move across something, right? I don't know what I was saying about poles. I guess I'm thinking snakes, but whatever. My point is, my brain is just all over the place. I, I'm PMSing. This is, it is just, breathe. But this, this, you can't play with biology like that. It would be like saying, I'm going to be the first person to walk on fire fully naked. Really? <laughs> You're going to try that. You're really going to try that? Don't come crying to me if you're... If your skin's all burnt up and it, you would be dead. You, you're not just automatically fire resistant all of a sudden. It's the same thing. It won't work. And even if it, even, even if it somewhat works, there's still so much you're leaving out of the equation. I just don't understand. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It is so stupid. I just can't. These people, these people, these people. I'm sorry, you guys. I am so sorry you have to hear this, but it needed to be said. And I'm going to continue saying it. You will never match up to a woman in that way. You will never be able to get pregnant because the baby could tear it. The, assuming anything goes as planned, things are gonna go bad. It could be a minor, but it could be very severe. Do you really wanna play with your biology like that and risk everything? Anyways, that's all I've gotta say about that. And, uh, yeah, YouTube, you might want to actually try and keep this up because there are, I'm sure there are not just that one person. I will link the video down below. It's another group that's reacting to that video. I don't have TikTok. I don't want TikTok. I never want TikTok. And I think ban banning TikTok is actually the smartest move anyone could ever make. Um, for security reasons, that's a whole other thing. So, um, this is probably going to be the last time you'll ever see me because YouTube hates the truth. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I will, uh, hopefully, if I'm still here within a week, <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Pray for me. Pray for me that my channel stays up. I'm not one for prayer, but holy crap. Okay, later.